Hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maida, and you're watching Maida Pours. Thank you so much for joining me today. If it's your first time here, you are very welcome. And if you are coming back again, well, I am so happy to see you. So for today's pour, I'm going to be doing another uh, puddle pour dump and swirl. Not sure if it's going to be a single or a double. I don't, maybe a triple. I don't, I hope not. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> I've mixed up enough paint here to do two if I need to, but I'm going to see how it goes after one. So you'll find out with me uh, if we're going to do two or not. I really don't know. <laughs> um, I am, I did choose to do this style of painting um, because I had posted a little um, poll on my community tab in YouTube and this is the style that got the most votes. So I thought, okay, let's do one, let's do it. So um, I also plan on uh, probably doing a Dutch pour soon because that one also got a significant amount of votes. <laughs> but um, today's pour is gonna be the Puddle Pour Dump and Swirl and I'm gonna go over my palette, um, my paints, and also um, sort of a quick overview of how I mixed them. Um, so these are all going to be, these are all metallic paints. Um, I have Extreme Sheen, um, Deco Art Extreme Sheen. I've got Deco Art Dazzling Metallics in Berry. Sorry, this one is the 24 karat gold. It's the last I have and I'm hoping this comes out nice. <laughs> um, I also have the Deco Art Dazzling Metallic in Purple Pearl. And then I have this folk art paint um, in teal topaz. Um, and also this folk art treasure gold in antique copper. Um, never used this paint before. It's a really interesting paint. I'm gonna show it to you. Um, it's like purple, but coffee colored too, kind of. I don't know how it's showing up in the camera, um, but it definitely has a coppery undertone. It's it's like a, I don't know, I'm either gonna love it or I'm not gonna love it. It's, and by not love it, I mean dislike strongly. So we're going to find out if I love this color or I strongly dislike this color. <laughs> I think I'm gonna love it. That's my prediction, but we'll see. I've never used it in a painting before, so I'm not sure how it's gonna interact with the other colors or look on the canvas, so we'll see. Um, and then this folk art teal topaz is just a gorgeous color. Um, it's really, I just, so shimmery and it's this really beautiful, rich teal color. I love it. Um, and then we've got Purple Pearl, which is kind of your standard um, deco art purple. I honestly, I guess the amethyst is a little bit richer, but they remind me very similar colors. Then we have the berry right here. And we've got the Extreme Sheen Gold. Now, all of these paints were mixed with one part paint to one part Floetrol. And I do have my Minwax in my Floetrol. I also added a squeeze, like a really, not a lot, a little drizzle squeeze of Liquitex pouring medium. Um, I did add water to all of these to thin them down to kind of, they're pretty thin. They're still leaving a very, small mound that almost quickly sinks. <clears throat> um, but I added slightly different amounts of water to all of these paints. Well, these two were basically the same, but you, I had to kind of eyeball the water to get all of these to the same type of consistency. I noticed that the folk art paints are slightly thinner than the deco art um, dazzling metallics and then extreme sheen is kind of like right in the middle but at least these bottles were. Um, so you have to add water accordingly. Now for the dump color, now this is white, um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. I mixed this with three parts Floetrol to two parts paint. Um, so there's actually kind of more Floetrol than I normally do. Um, and I also, this is Minwax infused Floetrol. I also added a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium and I added quite a bit of water to thin it down. This is really thin. The key to this type of pour is the, this paint here, the 
paint you pour over needs to be significantly thinner than these paints. <clears throat> now you don't want these paints thick, but you want them to definitely be thicker than your, um, than your dump color because you want these to be thick enough to kind of push through and appear. So um, that's the best way I understand it and that's what I try to achieve when I mix my paints for this type of pour. So, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna get my 20 by 20 inch canvas and we're gonna get to painting. Let's go. Okay, here we go. We've got the 20 by 20 inch canvas and I'm going to start with my petal colors. Now I am not planning on using all of these up uh, with the first go around. I'm gonna do the petals right here in the center. I'm gonna start with the Folk Art Metallic. Get a nice, good layer of that. And then I'm gonna use about half or so of the purple. A little bit more. And then I'm gonna use half or so of the blue. Teal. I guess teal is technically blue and green, but my eyes see blue. And then I'm going to pour about half the gold. Maybe a little more than half the gold. I didn't have as much gold as the other paints, so I have less gold <clears throat> than the other paints, but that's okay. And then oh, we put about half of the berry. Okay, so there's my puddle. I'm going to dump the white paint over it. And then I'm going to quickly tilt. I'm gonna get it off each corner first. Bring it back to center. Get it off that side. And then last but not least, I'm gonna pull it down to this corner here. Oh, I'm gonna miss this edge here. Get that off a little bit there. And then we're gonna tilt down here. Get it all the way off that corner. Tilty tilt. Now I am tilting faster um, than I would normally tilt. I want to get it all off that corner. And then we're going to pull it back into the center. I definitely see, oh, I forgot to put on my gloves. I actually had gloves over here to put on. I forgot to put them on. Pulling it back to center. And slide the edges a little bit. And we are gonna see what happens there.
sitting here for quite a while and I absolutely love it. I considered for a brief moment doing a second layer, but it was doing such cool things. I was like, you know what? No, this is its own piece here and it needs to do its thing and I need to let it. Um, so this is it. I love the multicolored cells. I love how these two corners kind of have a lot, like a little bit of white showing, but then this is really full and it got that elongated kind of eye effect again. Um, I think it looks like an eye. Uh, <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments. And it almost has like a rainbow uh, vibe because like the red and orange and yellow and what, well, why? Because it has all the colors in it. So, <laughs> and I really like that. I think it looks really, really cool. This is beautiful. I'm loving this. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you've gotten this far, please do hit that like button. It really does help. And if you enjoy watching videos like this, please consider subscribing because acrylic paint pouring is what I do here. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. I am going to bring you in for a close up now, but I will see you again next time. Bye bye. Okay, here we are. So the gold as as the extreme sheen gold always is really does just shine shine through but all of these cells are like difficult to focus in on they are so multicolored it's hard to focus because they're so shimmery and there's just so many of them and they all i just think blended so beautifully this is such a fun painting i am so happy with these results I always get nervous when I do one of these paintings. I don't know why, but I do. And this time I feel really happy with just all of it. Love it. Love it. And the center obviously is, you know, got a lot more empty white space in there. So there you go. Another puddle pour dump and swirl. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.